Hello, Mr. Stone here, and now we are going to take a look at how to get the slope of a line that is going between two points. So I have two points here, and if I were to make a line, there we go, I want to find the slope that of this line that is formed by these two points right there. There is a pretty simple formula. You just need to make sure that you are plugging everything into the right place, and this will give you slope. So the formula for that is the midpoint formula, and that is simply m, this is your slope, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, these little numbers down there, like the y2, that is just some subscript. It's just a way to name uh, different points, to make them different from each other, or different, uh, not necessarily points, but different uh, variables that it could be similar. So I've got two y's here because I've got two uh, y coordinates for points. I've got my first one over here, which I'll call this set x1, y1, and then I've got another one over here, which I'll call x2, y2. And it's really just a way to name it. Quite often you'll see numbers there, but you could call it anything. I mean, if we, if we really wanted to, we could have something like, you know, x corgi, you know, we could, we could name it. We refer to it as, as, quite often as x sub, like x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub corgi, um, short for subscript. All right. So I've got my two points. In this case, I have 12 and 9. That's from my second point over there to the right. So uh, we said that the x was 12. That's x2. And 9 was my y2. And I'm going to subtract from both of these because that's in the formula. Uh, 4, 3. The 4 is going to go on the bottom because that's an x. And then the 3 goes on top because that's your y. Simplify. 9 minus 3 gives us... 12 minus 4 gives us... And then we can also simplify that. This, this in and itself is correct, 6 over 8, but we can simplify that because they're equal. So your final slope, you could say it's 6 over 8, or to be a little bit more tidy, we can say it is 3 over 4. And that's it. You have found the slope for a line between two points. Uh, practice with these points. So let's say I've got a point A. And this point is 5, 7. And let's say that my B is the point 10, 9. All right. Uh, figure out what the slope of that is. And you're all set. Have a great day.